day five is all about exhaling when you go up. Um, when you exhale, you're actually accessing your deep abdominal core. So if you haven't figured out by now that you should be doing core work, <laughs> you should probably go do that now um, because your core transmits energy from your lower half to your upper half. And when you're in handstands, it's from the upper half to the lower half. So if you don't have that strong core matrix, you're basically like a floppy noodle in between your arms and your legs. <laughs> it's a polite way of saying it. Um, so when you go up and you exhale, you're actually engaging your core a little bit more in order to provide that extra uplift you might need. So when you're going up, um, one of the transitions in yoga is jumping towards the front of your mat. You don't have to do this, but when I exhale, just watch my stomach pull up and in. So and I can feel my core working. And from here, I can try to get my hips up and over and it doesn't exactly work when I'm talking. <laughs> so and you're able to have more of that control on your lower down as well as opposed to an inhale. There's nothing wrong about it. It's just that on an exhale, you might be able to um, find more alignment because you are compressing your front back to your lower back instead of allowing that tip to happen. And when you're in your handstand, I find that I'm exhaling more than I'm even inhaling because I'm still a beginner. I'm still working towards that alignment all the time. So hopefully this helps. Try to exhale in addition to, you know, leaning into the shoulder blades. Give it a go.